Greetings happy coders, welcome to another video. This is a new project that I decided to start a few weeks ago and that is that I'm going to be coding a game in assembly on the ZX Spectrum and every part of it is going to be done live on Twitch. That means warts and all, uh, every mistake, every triumph, everything, that uh, every thought process will be discussed live and you'll see the code that I use, you'll see the mistakes as I said that I make things that stay in, things that go out, and all of that stuff. I thought it would be a fun thing to kind of kick me into gear, give me a, a, another reason to, to keep working on a game, and also to demystify the whole process, really, and just to show that um, coders who work on these low-level machines are just the same as everyone else, just as prone to errors and just as human, and um, hopefully it will inspire people to... Uh, to give it a go and have a bit of fun with um, assembly because I, I certainly had a lot of fun doing it and I hope that I can pass some of that knowledge on as well. So the game that we're coding is Lunar Rescue. It's an arcade classic from Taito in uh, 1979 I think and um, it's a pretty straightforward game sort of a cross between Lunar Lander and Space Invaders and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun. So right now, the only thing that I've got is the attract screen, and the reason I started working on that first is because most of the routines that you need for that are fairly simple routines, which uh, beginners could probably pick up on and learn. So if you start watching it from the beginning, you can see that that sort of thought process, writing a routine for displaying text, writing a routine for... Um, adding very simple animations, defining graphics, doing a few little bits like that. So that's what um, that's what uh, we've been working on. Uh, so we I'll show you the code and then you can take it from there. It starts off with a fake boot sequence which uh, was suggested in the chat just to have a bit of fun and then it loads into the arcade style attract mode which is based on the original arcade. So as you can see, you get that sort of gobbledygook garbage going across the screen, and then there's a vertical wipe. The reason I've done a vertical wipe there is because this game was originally on a vertical monitor, and um, so I wanted to give the feeling that you're playing it on a vertical monitor. So the raster beam is appears to be going from uh, left to right instead of top to bottom. And as you can see, you've got the usual score display here, the aliens there on 30 and 50 points, those are missing because we haven't done the sprites yet, but we'll get around to that. If you look at the little wipe there, you'll see that was a routine, and uh, a routine to sort of display text one letter at a time uh, from a sort of uh, text stream, which is a little bit like a very simple hypertext where you define the uh, coordinates and the color, and then it prints from there. So all of this is, um, well, I've downloaded and archived it all, and hopefully I'm going to be putting it onto YouTube in a abridged version, and then the full version will also be on the Amigos stream team. So I'll put a link to that as well. So, yeah, this is just an invitation, really, to anyone interested in this kind of coding, sort of uh, fairly relaxed and um, educational, if you like. If you're interested in that, then you'd be very welcome. You can find it at twitch.tv slash happycodingzx. And as I said, we're just getting now to the point where we're going to be doing starting on the game proper. So it's not a bad time to jump in, and I hope you will. All right, guys, take care. And uh, as always, happy coding. Bye-bye.